Come on, Chumbo. I need my toe partner. Hey, Lucas, my brother. I feel so ready. I'm so amped. After our last training, I feel so ready. I feel like we are gonna be like the tightest team out there. Good. Get the best waves. Do the best maneuvers. Ride everything. Yeah, my brother's coming. Oh, oh my god. Ian Walsh is coming too. This trial looks way perfect. Ooh. Way perfect. Yes. Let's win this thing. I win everything. Let's destroy it. Let's do this. What a winter. There have been highs, like the best day at Jaws in years. There have been lows, like once again, missing out on the big wave world tour title at Jaws. And now, I'm back at Nazare. I'm super stoked to compete in the WSL Nazare Big Wave Toe Surfing Challenge tomorrow. This is truly a unique event because it's made up of teams of toe partners who will pull each other into the giant waves. Chumbo's my toe partner. You remember Chumbo, right? Unlike paddle and surfing, toe surfing allows us to be strapped into our boards, which means I can really focus on high performance maneuvers. Think 360s, airs, and big carves. This is a huge contest. And winning here would be the perfect end to my winter season. So let's do it. Oh wait, this is a great rule. House rules. Rule number one, Lino is always right. Rule number two, if Lino is wrong, see rule number one. There's Lino. He's always right. I hope, I hope. <laughs> Whoa, the athlete zone. What's up? Good, Good to see you. Good to see you too, right man. on. What's up, man? Hi, how are you? Yeah, better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited for tomorrow because I've never done a toe contest. And uh, I get to do it with Chumbo, who's one of the best guys ever out here. My goal is to get him the best wave possible. And I'm sure his goal is to get me the best wave possible. So that's what's exciting right now. You have the team atmosphere. and. You know, you're kind of going to battle together. Tomorrow's supposed to be big, it's supposed to be clean. I'm hoping to do really high performance maneuvers. We're gonna do our best and uh, hopefully at the end of the day, we come out on top. Just to, to quickly run down the rules, this event is completely different from anything that's ever taken place before. The format is for 10 two surfer teams. The voting will be by the surfers yourselves. And we'll have our winners, the men's wave of the day, the women's wave of the day, and the best team as determined by you all. Are there any questions on the criteria? Don't, don't risk your lives any more than you have to and, and get some great rides. The intentions are simple. Win this contest and some of the biggest waves ever competed in. I haven't had a win in a while. It's actually been really frustrating. I want to get back to my winning ways, you know, basically owning it. And uh, I think with this team, we're going to be pretty hard to beat, especially if we're on our game. Super important tomorrow is going to be wave selection. Get a really tall one with first priority and then scoop those inside triangles. Yeah. Because those ones look tall too. Mm -hmm. Like your one, when I first towed you into that left, didn't look big at all. Mm -hmm. And then it doubled up and it was like, 
<laughs> Actually, what I'm most excited to do this competition with Kai, it is to see our performance together. It's like almost a dream. He's going right, I'm going left. We're just gonna complete each other. I can't wait to see him as like doing performance, doing errors, doing tricks, and showing everybody we are coming. Hey, Carlos! What's up, Kai? New. Meeting. New. What's up? Carlos is on. <laughs> priority. You guys wanna make sure? We have first priority right now. Yeah, we, we're gonna start with first. We're gonna first. start with first. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes! See ya, thanks for laying! Tomorrow is the day of the competition. Come down. Come down, okay. <laughs> Relax and don't put Mr. Chubu with ideas because Chubu don't have rules. Everything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need to know, folks. See you in the morning, 8 o'clock. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> We are live here at the Nazare Toe Surfing Challenge. Now, this is exciting stuff. We're getting to see toe surfing being showcased. The highlight team being the Team Young Bulls, Lucas Shianka and Kai Lenny. Smash it. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Yeah. Dino, what's up? I'm good. And you? You see it? Uh, I check? haven't seen it yet. No? I couldn't see because of the fog. But uh, at 3 in the morning, the water comes to the road, the main road here, no, to the no avenue. Way. Last 10 years, don't come with that violence. Last night, I had trouble sleeping only because I was so excited. Not nervous or scared, just I wanted to go out and ride a giant wave and do huge airs. It's <sighs> 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 fun for the contest. It's offshore, the fog's kind of blowing out now, and there's some big A-frames, so it'll be fun to watch. Boys and girls light it up today. And uh, the, the two young bulls, Lucas Chumbo and Kai Lenny, they've been going crazy. Yeah, those two are uh, relatively loose, but they're a, they're a lot of fun to watch. They're both really entertaining surfers, and I think they draw really unique lines. I think they'll be a super entertaining heat each time they hit the water, so it'll be fun. That's a lot to live up to. Red. I haven't won a contest in so long, especially in big waves been a couple years I've gone so close and to me it's like you know what I'm gonna go out there and show everyone why I love big wave surfing the potential not just to ride the biggest wave ever ridden but to do the biggest aerials and the biggest barrels ever ridden Massive wide. There we go, Kai. Oh, he's going left. Yeah. Oh, God. Air it's section. section. Air section. Whoa. Hit it, Watch hit it. I don't think the people could even comprehend what he was doing on the top so. of the wave. Like, I don't even know if, I bet half the people didn't even notice. That was a crazy wave. <laughs> I just went full tilt. I couldn't believe that I just ate it so bad on my very first wave. And I'm like, well, make waves now. Like, you gotta pull it together. You're not gonna win by not kept making a wave. And uh, yeah, the adrenaline was pumping and my goal was going to the moon. We are back live here in Nazareth for Nazareth Toe Challenge and a big north northwest swell loading up for the world's best toe surfers. Real cool to see the energy from the young bulls and obviously the prize out here today, best ride. Lucas Chianka, 
Kai Lenny. I think these two guys might be the two servers in the world right now that are pushing that high performance. Barry, would you agree? I would totally agree. That's a great shot, isn't it, Pete? Look at that. Look at this turn here, just straight up into it, surfing it like it's uh, a four foot wave when actually it's a 40 foot wave. Oh, Chumbo. <laughs> Watch this. Look how deep he is. Massive wedge of a peak. To be able to howl that line with a lot of chop in the face, very nicely done. Without a doubt, putting everything on the line, dropping into a wave and doing a full rotation 360 or setting yourself up for a barrel, you know, the ultimate moment of uncertainty you're gonna make it. I guess that's living on the edge. When it all works out at the end, it's insane that you don't know if you'll ever be able to repeat it, but at least you were lived that moment once. It's chasing the unrideable. To me, there's no other way to live. Right now, on a giant wave, left hand, you can hear the crowd whistling again. Big carve in the pocket. And that's Kailani again. He just gets swallowed. No, he does not. Oh, Up to man. 60 k's an hour. That, I think, had everything. It did. I mean, he's just going absolutely insane. That is again traveling at max speed. He looks so loose, he looks so confident. He's doing new things on a wave. His team rider is putting him in the exact right spot and doing clean sort of pickup. It's been a bit of a masterclass. Kyle Lenny has just put the turbo charge on this event. I'd say if he gets like one more really good one, like that could do it. Like, but it has to be like a good one though. This one. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Kai Lenny on that right-hander, and that looked massive. Look at that right. That is a massive wall of water. One of the biggest waves we've seen. Oh, yes. Yes, Kai. No, I did. I did a snap, and I looked back. Bro, the barrel was on you. There's 15 minutes left in the heat. I get towed into a wave by Lucas that was giant. All of a sudden, one of the safety guys is going like this. Oh my God. No. This is bad. This is really bad. And then I got a radio call from Ian Walsh on the cliff. Alex Botello and Hugo Val had a gnarly, gnarly wipeout on the jet ski. I knew exactly what happened. I was like, he got knocked out. There's a 50-50 chance in my head that he's gonna live. So I was sitting out the back with Lucas and we were just kind of going, please, please, please be okay. People were crying out the back because it's happened before and you just never know when maybe one of your best friends is gonna die. It's just part of the game. That, that could happen to anybody. It could have happened to one of us. Alex and Hugo, I love those guys. Where those guys were in that thick white water, there's nothing you could do. It's pretty bad. That's not looking good. But I figured these guys and girls train for this. And if anyone can handle it, it's these people. Finally, the radio got back, it's like, okay, he's starting to breathe again. They got a pulse, and I was like, oh. Okay. Yes. yes. Thank God, dude. Jesus, that's freaking gnarly. Alex was knocked unconscious and couldn't get saved for over five minutes. Ugo, I believe, may have injured his spine. Things can go really, really wrong very fast. Thanks to the water safety and everyone who responded, he was gonna be okay. That was hands down one of the most intense days of my life. But when you get back to the dock, one thing is for sure, you know that you are alive. Holy shit. I had no idea it was that big. Holy shit.
I thought you was in the barrel almost. Yeah, I had no clue. <laughs> Completely clueless. Yeah. Look at how gnarly that lip line is right there. Right here. Oh, yeah. dude, oh, if you God. filled it, you, you would die. die. Yeah, dude. Death. Death. Cried, dude. Destroyed. Oh, my God. Destroyed. Smashed. God, I oh. love big wave surfing. Oh, this is why I love fish, it. Fish, fish, Just fish. come in and you get to relive the session again. Can you show it? Like, what? Dude, I can't believe that. <laughs> Today, how is the anticipation coming into this event? I mean, it must have been probably some butterflies. Yeah, always butterflies when we know we're gonna serve Nazare, especially, you know, with this level of performance. I'm just happy that we had good surf and everyone is safe and yeah, we're all here, so it's good. Yeah, I mean, today was exhilarating to say the least. I was just really happy to be involved and uh, we saw cars wave the big right as we were coming out for our heat. I, I saw that wave and I was just like, whoa, okay, this is the real deal. Um, you know, it's amazing. Everyone plays their little pieces here and there to build this giant, which is surfing in Portugal. We saw it today, like huge crowds, people cheering. It's really like you don't see that anywhere in the world and it's, it's amazing to be a part of this evolution and, you know, sky's the limit. Oh, I love it. I love it. Big bad. Which now brings us to the men's wave of the day. Congratulations to Kai Lenny. Kai, that wave was pretty special. I mean, it did definitely stand out today. Did you actually, or did Lucas actually see that wave um, and know that that was the one. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, I wouldn't have been able to ride that wave without Lucas. So Lucas, come on up here. This is as much your award as it is mine. Congratulations, you two. Well, you might stay up on the stage because you guys are the best team. All right, so you are the best team as well. When they called our names, I was like, wow, okay. Good job, Lucas. <laughs> we did it. I would definitely put it up there with one of the biggest event wins in my life. It was so special because on top of winning a WSL event in Nazare, also riding maybe the biggest wave of my life so far, that was equally special. For me, it's a step to the next destination where I wanna go. It's proof of concept. Okay, my approach and what I'm trying to do in big waves is the right thing and I just gotta push it to the next level. When I was younger, I cared a lot about what people thought, the awards, the titles. I think just this year, I kinda don't care anymore. I've realized you are in this life and you have friends and family, but you're kind of on this journey alone most of the time, and you gotta become your own best friend. Being alone on a giant wave is maybe the freest you've ever felt in your entire life. I think the way I wanna live my life is just ride big waves. There's nothing that has captured my mind like that, at least on this earth. Turn it to the max. 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 Turn it